Alright, so one of the first things that uh, the instructions ask us to do is to flip this over so that we can actually put our eggs on. So we'll do that. Flip it over. Okay, so it's important that you understand which legs are which. If you notice, we have four legs here. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Your back legs are just going to have your holes on the bottom so that you can fasten them this way. Your front legs are going to have some additional holes on the sides. So just make sure that you, uh, you situate yourself correctly. If not, you're going to install the legs incorrectly. You have to um, go in there and put them correctly. Just a little hand tight right there. Just to keep them in place. Alright, so that's one. Okay, hand tight. Just make sure that when you are putting these in, the holes here are going to be facing the to the front of your smoker because that is for the attachment of the igniter and the uh, propane. Uh, and the propane is going to be situated. They're hand tight. They're not super super tight. So the next thing they want us to actually uh, install would be your igniter. You have holes there. They're going to align with these holes. I'm giving you the back view. I, I switched the camera angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just kind of align them. And just hand tighten them for right now. Tighten them. So we'll go ahead and install this burner here. They want this facing in here. All right. This is the ignition switch. This one goes installed in here. You're going to secure this down with four of these screws that they provide. So I would work with the ones in the front first. And these are all hand tight for now. Don't uh, over tighten them because you don't know you need to make some type of adjustment to it. All right, so this is the cover they want us to install. These are different screws, they're a little bit smaller. And by the looks of the illustration, you, they want this to be on the outside on both ends. So that's going to cover that way. Alright, so according to the instructions, after you've tight, after you've installed all these uh, parts, then you can go ahead and go back in there and uh, tighten all of the screws for this cover. You can tighten the screws for the base, or you're going to have your, your flame coming out. 
and then also tighten the screws for your legs and tighten the screws for your actual um, igniter housing here. So now I already tightened these here. It's nice and secure. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these. All right, so it looks like we're done with the base part of it. At this point, it's asking us to flip it back over and start working on the handles. And you need to take it in steps, move it over, then flip it over. One more time. Okay, so the next step is they want us to install these handles on the side. All right, so here you got some holes that where your actual handles are gonna go. And these again, you just tighten them with a screwdriver. Stick the screw in first, a lot easier. Find the hole. Seems pretty straightforward. There's a hole right here. This has a little butterfly nut in the back. You unscrew it. Get it in the hole. Kind of adjust it so that it's kind of even to have or straight as much as possible. Stick the hole here. And actually that alignment can be done at the very end. See it moved a little bit. Just kind of hand tighten it. I'm going to give you a little temperature pick. Uh, again, I don't really trust those. What I do is I get my own. Especially because mine has a Bluetooth connectivity. Here we go. We're going to stick it in first. Open the drawer. Find the hole. And especially these you don't want to go in crooked because these are very finicky. Get it in there first and find the hole. All right, see what I did there? I'm installing it incorrectly. I just caught myself doing that. You want the door hinges to be, uh, the door handles to be sticking out of your smoker and not into your smoker. So let's do this again. Let's try this one more time. Stick your screw in through the inside. Ah, that looks a little bitter. There you go, nice and tight. Alright, there's one. It's coming out. There you go. You can tell it's tight because the inside of the inside line is starting to bend a little bit. Tells you it's ready to go. You've got a little latch here. Alright, so our next step is to install our racks, and the first thing you need to do is install these uh, rack holders. When you get your smoker, you're gonna notice there's some holes here on the edge. These rack holders are supposed to go in and up. Alright, so I'm gonna install one here here, in and up. Well, that was easy. Go to your next one. In and down. In and down. And the last hole. It's kind of hard to see, you might need a light. But there you go, one side is completely installed. I'm gonna zoom out so I can do the other side. So what I did is I started on the first one, and this is preference. What I do like about this, now that I'm looking at it, is that they're adjustable. So if you do have a turkey, and you don't want, uh, I mean, you can always not put the racks, right? But if you wanted it to make it uh, smaller or bigger or maybe even add some more racks, you could always do that. You could always add some more racks. You can go buy yourself three more if you wanted to and do all these baby, uh, baby back ribs in here. So mirroring the, the other side, we want to keep it even. So there's one. All right, so, all right, so for this model, it has four. Four, uh, four spaces for your racks, but you are gonna have two racks left over. These are for the bottom part. This is gonna have one right underneath. You wanna go ahead and stick under the hole right there. It's one. And two. So now you have your racks that you're gonna install. They have some tongue and groove action going on. So this one just kinda slides in between, in between. In between, this one goes in between the, the actual one where it can slide in. That's one. 